welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will move on to the next algorithmic design technique, decrease and conquer technique. Already we have discussed divide and conquer technique, brute force approach, greedy technique, dynamic programming, backtracking, branch and bound. All these techniques we have completed with examples. Now we will enter into the new algorithmic design technique that is decrease and conquer technique. This decrease and conquer technique is based on exploiting the relationship between solution to a given instance that is what is the actual problem given and the solution to the smaller instance of the same problem. For the given problem we are reducing the size of the problem as a sub problem that is a smaller instance. Then we are finding the solution for this sub problem that we will apply for other sub problems. So finally we will get the solution for the original problem. Okay. And this method we can able to implement either top down approach that is recursive function or bottom up approach without recursion that is it is iterative method. Okay. So as the name suggests decrease and conquer technique there are three steps here. Okay. So the first step if you are considering that is decrease. Reduce the problem size to a smaller instance that is nothing but the sub problem first step. Second step is conquer that is find the solution for the sub problem. We have reduced the size of the problem that is a smaller instance then find the solution for that smaller instance. Then third one extend meaning is we have already found the solution for a smaller instance. For the other smaller instance follow the same method okay then obviously we will get the solution for the original problem that is extend the solution of the sub problem what we got and apply to the other sub problems also okay then finally we will get the solution for the original problem this is nothing but degrees and conquer technique there are three variants of degrees and conquer technique one is decrease by constant value decrease by constant factor and variable size decrease all these three variants we will discuss now. First variant is decrease by a constant. Here the size of the instance is reduced by a same constant value in each iteration of the algorithm. Okay. That constant value usually equal to 1. So what is the constant value you are applying? The same constant value on each iteration you have to reduce. Size of the problem we will reduce in each iteration. Okay. That is reduced by the constant value. That is the meaning. Okay. And this reduction by two cases do happen occasionally. One is instance of odd size. That is 1, 3 likewise. Or instance of even size in this is 2, 4 likewise. Okay. Once you are choosing this constant value in this is that will be applied throughout finding the solution for the problem. Okay. And here if you are considering initially problem of size n will be given. Then we are reducing the size of the problem by a constant value. That is sub problem of size n minus 1 we will get it. This is the smaller instance. Now find the solution for this sub problem. Then whatever the solution we got earlier for this sub problem apply to the other sub problems. So finally we will get the solution for the original problem. This is nothing but decrease by a constant value. For example, consider exponentiation problem of computing a power n for positive integer exponent. Okay. So, here the relationship between solution to a instance of problem size n and instance of problem size n minus 1. That is here each iteration we are reducing the problem size by 1. That is n minus 1. n value if it is 10 in the sense next iteration it will be 9. That is n minus 1. And this will be obtained by the formula a power n is equal to a power n minus 1 into a. Okay. So the function f of n is equal to a power n can be computed either top down using recursive definition. That is f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 into a. If n value is greater than 1. Okay. Suppose if n value is equal to 1 in the sense, it is equal to a. So, this is the function we will implement to find the solution recursively using top down approach or bottom up approach in the sense multiply a itself by n minus 1 times. 
then we will get the solution. Then the algorithm if you are considering in the sense, your input is A and N. And what is the output we will get it? That is A power N. We will get it. Okay. And here the algorithm is if N value is equal to 1 in the sense, return A. Yes. N value is 1 in the sense, return A itself. Suppose if N value is not equal to 1 in the sense, return. If this condition fails in the sense, return power of a comma n minus 1 into a. Okay, this is the formula. If n greater than 1. Okay, so this is the algorithm to compute a power n by implementing decrease by a constant value. Okay, next variant is decrease by a constant factor. Okay, techniques suggest that reducing the problems instance by the same constant factor on each iteration of the algorithm. Typically, that constant factor will be equal to 2. Okay, that is reducing the problem size will be divided into 2. Okay, n by 2 and n by 2. Find the solution for n by 2. Then that solution will reflect for the other portion n by 2. Okay, that is the constant factor. For example, here consider exponential problem and here the function f of n is equal to a power n can be computed as a power n is equal to a power n by 2 square. Okay. If n is even and positive. n value is even and positive in the sense a power n by 2 square if you are taking in the sense we will get the solution. Suppose if n value is odd and greater than 1 in the sense apply a power n minus 1 by 2 a power n minus 1 by 2 whole square. Even and positive in the sense a power n by 2 square odd and greater than 1 in the sense a power n minus 1 by 2 square. Okay. And a if n value is equal to 1. Okay. And here if you are considering problem size n will be given. Reduce the problem size to a smaller instance that is sub problem of size n by 2. Okay. That is divide the problem size into 2 half. n by 2, n by 2 we will get it. Okay. So 1 n by 2 we will take it and find the solution for the sub problem n by 2. The same solution it will reflect for the other n by 2. Okay. Then we will get the solution for the original problem. And here the algorithm if you are considering in the sense, this is problem is to compute the exponentiation of a power n. Algorithm is input a and n value and output a power n. That is the result of a power n. And here algorithm is if n is equal to 1 in the sense return a. Okay. If n is greater than 1 and n modulus 2 is equal to 0, that is even number in the sense, return power of power of a comma n by 2 comma 2. Okay. That is, this one is a power n by 2 square. Okay. Suppose, if this is false in the sense, that is, n value is odd and greater than 1 in the sense. In that case, return power of a comma n minus 1 by 2 comma 2 into a. Okay. That is power of power of a comma n minus 1. That is a power n minus 1 by 2 square into a. Okay. So, this is the algorithm to find the exponentiation of a power n. Using decrease by a constant factor. Okay. So, every iteration it will decrease by a constant factor. Okay. Divided by 2 in the sense 2 half, 3 in the sense 3 half. Likewise, it will be decreased by a constant factor. Okay. Next one is variable size decrease. So, here the size reduction pattern varies from one iteration of the algorithm to another. In each iteration, the size reduction pattern varies. Okay, not by a constant value or not by a constant factor. 
So every iteration a new value will be implemented. Okay, that is nothing but variable size decrease. For example, algorithm for computing GCD. GCD of m comma n is equal to GCD of n comma m mod n. n value we will take it and m mod n value we will take it. And this will change in each iteration. All the iteration it will not be same. Every iteration it will be reduced. The value will be reduced according to this modulus value. So, this algorithm already we have discussed in first module. Okay. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So, for variable size decrease, we have to consider example GCD of M comma E. So, now we have discussed the introduction to decrease and conquire technique. And the three variants in decrease and conquire technique, that is decrease by a constant value, decrease by a constant factor and variable size decrease. All we have discussed. Next session onwards, we will enter into the problems solved under decrease in conquire technique. What are all the problems we will solve under decrease in conquire technique in the sense? Insertion chart, graph traversals, depth first search and breadth first search and topological shorting. These techniques we will solve with example using this decrease in conquire technique. Thank you for watching this video.